Hey, what's up everyone? I just got done making a quick video regarding, well it's an 8 minute video, almost 9 minutes, regarding the cool synchronicities, the interesting things that happened this morning. And all of a sudden I get this notification at the top of my video saying that it says you're legally required to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPPA. What, what, I mean... I'm not targeting anyone with my videos. What are they what are they talking about? There's no there's no children in my videos. I mean, if that's what they're talking about, I mean, am I I'm not targeting children either. Of course, it's kind of strange how children can access explicit content all over the internet and they're able to access, you know what? They're able to access uh explicit music and literally anything in existence, but yet they were telling me also that I uh I was not flagged, but my music, my uh, the music in the background of my previous video was copyrighted content from The Wizard of Oz. And it was just the ending credits, the end credits music from the soundtrack. They claimed that I had some kind of, but they said, I'm okay, it's all good, I just won't be, I don't know, I don't even make anything from it anyway, it's insane. But what is this about, the whole Children's Online Privacy Protection Act? What, I mean, what if children want to see my videos or wake up to the M.E.? What if they want to do that, but yet they that means children won't be able to watch my videos? I don't understand. I don't do anything explicit on my channel. Children get to access a whole lot more than what than what's on YouTube. But you're legally required to comply with this, and it says you're you're required to tell us if your videos are made for kids. Where? There's nowhere to agree. It just says learn more. Use this use the YouTube Studio app. Which, what app? I haven't seen the YouTube Studio app. What are they talking about? Do, do any of you know what they're talking about? Let's go over here to learn more and see what they have to say on here. Uh, it might turn it sideways. I don't, I don't know if it's going to change it. I'm not sure if it's going to change it or if it's going to... Uh, nope, it's not going to do that. Okay, it says support. But they won't let you, they won't let you agree. It says set your channel's vid channel or video's audience. Regardless of your location, you're legally now required to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. I've never heard of this, and or other, and or other laws. You're required to tell us all, that your videos are made for children if you make children's content or kids' content. What, did they see The Wizard of Oz or something and say that I was, I was making children's content? I wasn't making a content for any particular type of audience. Anyway, as a YouTube creator, you are now required to set future and you are required to set future and existing videos that are made for children or not. You're t you have to tell whether or not they're made for children. Well, what if children just happen to watch it? I mean, I'm not targeting any particular type of audience. You know how much targeted audiences there are out there? Even creators who don't make content for children need to set their audience. It will help and ensure that we offer the appropriate features on your content. Yet they target children all the time for other things but anyway at the channel level which will set all of your future existing content made for kids or not or at the video level if you choose the this option this will you'll need to set each existing and future video as made for children or not another thing that annoys me is they say like you know that you're supposed to that they recommend things based on what you've been watching or what you've searched but i'm so random i can like watching a particular thing at one moment and another another moment or search one thing one moment and another the next. I mean, that's just how I am. But yet they claim their recommended can be pretty spot on sometimes, but yet other times, I mean, I'm so random that it doesn't really <laughs> apply. But anyway, what is this about? To set your audience made for children, you'll need to do so in the studio, YouTube Studio. You won't be able to do so in the Creator Studio Classic, which, by the way, I prefer the Classic YouTube, but they won't let you go back to it anymore. We'll make the audience selection tool available to third-party applications and the YouTube API services in the near future. For now, please use YouTube Studio to upload content made for children. This, I don't have a targeted audience. But it says starting in January, they'll limit the data collection made for children to comply with a law. This means that they'll start disabling certain features like comments. They'll disable comments, notifications, and others. And I may see small changes to refine the systems over the next few months. Most, com most importantly, they, will, they won't serve uh, personalized ads on children's content as required by the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. 
COPPA and other a applicable laws not serving personalized ads on children's content or kids' content may result in a decrease in revenue for some actor or some creators who mark their content as made for children or made for kids. We recognize that this will not be easy for some creators, but these are important steps to make and ensure compliance with COPPA and other applicable laws. And then read a bunch of information below. What if YouTube says my video is made for ch kids, but I disagree, or children, but I disagree? Go to the studio and say it's not made for kids on a computer. They've made it difficult. I mean, what the crap? What is this? Anyway, I'm hearing some strange activity in here. Um, but anyway, uh, I've noticed they've changed YouTube a lot, and it's annoying me quite a bit. I don't like the new YouTube studio at all, the creator studio that much. Maybe I'll get used to it. I don't know, but I prefer the old version. But if you'll notice what they do, it's just, there was a program on a few days ago on Sunday when we visited Nana's house and uh, they were saying that Apple and Amazon and all these companies send your information to third parties. They get paid to send your information overseas and to third parties and other companies, your shopping habits, where you're at, your location data and what you watch, what you like, what you listen to, who you talk to, your contacts, your information, your details and accounts everything and i said oh i already know that i was like i know that already i said yeah they've been doing that for forever i mean you have to sign your life over just to do anything anymore and it's just uh it's really sad i was like that's not shocking to me and it's sad really in a way when it's not shocking that our privacy is being invaded the invasion of privacy which is unconstitutional but in the digital age it's it takes on a whole new meaning and they it's happening and advancing more rapidly and so much faster than what, could, what they can actually keep up with uh with making applicable laws or whatever that apply to the situation that so it's it's rapidly advancing at a pace that they can't keep up with constitutionally since the constitution was written when it was and the invasion of privacy and things like that are really becoming difficult to avoid in these times in which we live but here's the thing they're going way too far with the situation and taking advantage of it in the name of security taking away many freedoms in the name of security and we're just being in some of these things oh they couldn't function without us giving information uh, you know agreeing to give everything signing your life away basically to use all of these things and it's it's crazy but uh, that program was on on TV at Nana's and I said oh yeah I already know that I know and it's really crazy how we just don't even read the terms and serv terms of service anymore agreements and I mean it's so long who's going to read it right some of them I look at and read but um, we just go okay agree and there's no telling what we're signing and you look at what we have to agree for them to the, the things they have to use and they have to know all about you and everyone you're involved with and everything everywhere you go every move you make everything you say access the microphone access remotely control it at any given time they know all about you and you have to sign that and agree in the name of convenience and that's what we do for security and convenience we just have to agree to everything anyway just thought i'd share all of that plus i have no idea what this thing is about youtube i have to say that it's for ch my content is for children i have to now pick a specific audience and i've never had to do that anyway peace signing out and much love just thought i'd talk about a few of those topics plus the uh security and um freedom and invasion of privacy and all of that signing out